Good afternoon. This is week seven, which is the last week for Social Work 633. So believe it or not, we are coming to the end of the semester. And as a reminder, grades will be due shortly thereafter. So again, if you have outstanding work, please get it in as quickly as possible and let me know your plan. So this week we are talking about comparative family therapy theory, analysis, and research on couple and family therapy. So let's first go to our introductions. And for this week, we are doing the following. We are going to be comparing and choosing methods for practice, which requires self-reflective, being self-reflective and being knowledgeable. This includes consideration of evidence-based practice, cultural competency, and practice wisdom based on a specific family's needs. So some examples of models frequently seen in agencies not addressed thus far include multi-systemic family therapy, multi-dimensional family therapy, parent-child interaction therapy, functional family therapy, and trauma-focused CBT, cognitive behavioral therapy. Being flexible and adept at assessment and intervention will help in defining your approach as a social work practitioner. Learning objectives are to describe key concepts and interventions from each of the theories studied and identify strengths and limitations of the approaches. Identify at least two family inter interventions that are supported by empirical evidence and be able to critique existing literature in terms of evidence provided that supports a particular family intervention to apply at least two family therapy theories to a current feature film depicting a presenting problem and lastly to describe the role of trauma in family therapy in the film family secrets so let's go to our learning activities by first looking at the learning resources in our text family therapy you're looking at chapters 13 and 14 you're looking at an article called intervention research in couple and family therapy a methodological and substantive review and introduction to the special issue and then you're to choose one of the following articles and and as reminded to download all of them and save them for future readings. So choose one of these articles. There are websites for this week, one on multi-systemic therapy, on FFT, functional family therapy, on multi-dimensional family therapy, on parent-child interaction therapy, and on trauma-focused cognitive behavioral therapy. Next, you have a media th that you have to watch this week, and that media is titled Family Secrets, Implications for Theory and Therapy by Evan Ember Black. And so you need to look at that video. So our discussions for this week are as follows. You need to watch one of the feature films on the following list that reflect the family. The films listed present unique family dysfunction, dynamics, dysfunction, strengths, etc. So you will see the 25 great movies for terribly dysfunctional families, an awful title and reel-to-reel -reel popular films for teaching family studies. So you are to look at one of those films. And after you do that, in the first part of your initial post, apply those same theories to assess the family in the feature film. For the second part of your initial post, you're going to identify exactly what you would do to help the family um, 
and then in your initial post include references and citations for at least two of the course readings. You also need to include, as it says here, use two theoretical approaches that you utilize in your final paper. So this is also based on your week six paper. Your response, you're responding to at least one of your classmates. So your initial post is due Thursday and your follow-up is due between Friday and Sunday. The next discussion, you're going to review two of the websites that we mentioned before and then complete an initial post that includes a description of two therapeutic approaches that you reviewed in your own words, compare the two approaches and describe two of their strengths and two of their limitations and comment on the strengths and limitations by looking to research that to inform the selection of a family systems approach for a particular family. So this is one where you only have to do your initial post. Your next discussion is an analysis of the family secret video and your final check-in. So after looking at that video, describe the theory used by the therapist and two different interventions in the video. Reflecting on the film and the past seven weeks, describe your comfort level with the idea of seeing families in order to help certain individuals. What do you feel you are now capable of doing? What do you feel you want to know more about in order to work with families? And then thinking back to the shared case of Anita, pick one of the theories that we studied in this class and what intervention that you now have had a chance to reflect on do you believe would be helpful to Anita and her family? So you will not see anyone else's post until you have done your initial post. And while you're encouraged to respond to your classmates, you do not have to for this post as well. And lastly, there is the self-care activity. This week, the readings look at the research and also comparing the different theories and resultant therapies that come from the theories. One of the important concepts for this week is that in learning each of these theories and theoretical approaches, we as social workers are encouraged to learn these approaches very thoroughly to decide which ones we are most comfortable with. And although we can be eclectic in picking from various approaches, it is not picking from this one or picking from that one, but being very comfortable in an approach that will work for you in working with families, but understanding when working with the family, when a brief therapeutic approach is appropriate versus maybe the utilization of longer term psychodynamic approaches. So understanding the approach thoroughly, maybe incorporating pieces of other approaches, but again, we, we need to make sure that it is more than just picking and, and choosing when we feel like it. It is understanding the situation that the family is dealing with, understanding whether brief treatment or longer term interventions are appropriate, and then only based on our comfort level or experience level in the situation, deciding to incorporate, tech, incorporate techniques um, based on other approaches. Not everybody is comfortable with approaches that focus on solutions versus looking at the in-depth problem situation, and others may be more comfortable in looking at problems and basing our intervention on the solution to those problems. So thank you for a good semester.
I hope each of you have been able to learn something and will be encouraged and able to utilize the approaches that you have learned in your future work with families. Again, if you have questions for the week, please email me as soon as possible. And I uh, thank you for the opportunity to work with you this semester.